This cocktail reception has become an annual Washington event. It aims to promote greater cultural ties between the U.S. and China by encouraging more Americans to learn Mandarin and to travel east. There isn't a better example of the long game than the the human to human exchanges, learning languages, studying cultures, living in these uh, our respective countries, uh, and gaining the kind of experience that one can only get on the ground. Among the attendees are former U.S. government officials and current members of Congress. They're all being asked to support and even advocate for such exchanges. The organization behind the event had as its original mission sending 100,000 U.S. students to China. The group on Monday was rebranded the U.S. China Strong Foundation. With a new goal, getting one million American youth to learn Mandarin right here in the U.S. Come on, Cavs. Come on. We focus on uh, dramatic expansion of Mandarin language learning and cultural exposure at the youngest age. We focus on increasing opportunities for students of all backgrounds to study abroad in China. And we want them to stay engaged in China um, for the long term, professionally, intellectually, as global citizens, um, through a variety of different uh, networks that we are creating. Aniqua McNeil, she says, is the perfect example. At age 23, the Washington, D.C. resident moved to Hangzhou to teach English and to learn Mandarin. She's now a so-called 100,000-strong ambassador, urging others to follow in her footsteps. I think we have a misperception of China based off of television. Like, most of what we get from other countries come from movies. And, like, when you go to China and you get this, like, magical experience, you meet this wonderful Chinese friend who teaches you all about her history and where she comes from and how we're pretty much the same people, but just on opposite sides of the world. It's the most amazing experience that anyone could experience. Around 2 million people living in the U.S. were actually born in China. Another 2 million Chinese tourists visit the U.S. each year, a number that's only expected to grow. And around a quarter of a million Chinese students are currently studying in the U.S. But for many Americans, their only sample of China will be Chinese restaurants and so-called Chinatowns like this across the U.S. Most will never visit the country, much less learn the language, which is why organizers say people like McNeil are crucial. It just makes me feel like a part of the bridge. Roe Ruttenberg, CCTV in Washington. If you like what you just saw, follow us on social media and visit our website, cctv-america.com.